the day the crayons came home. Ooh, lots of crayons. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Here's the first postcard. It's addressed to Duncan, Duncan's bedroom, upstairs, this house. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. Oh, there he is being held together by Paperclip. Oh no, look, there he is. The dad's about to sit on him. He's yelling, no, poor maroon crayon. Well, this one's addressed to Duncan, Duncan's bedroom, upstairs, this house. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, the crayon formerly known as pea green. Oh, he's got his cape and he's fly running off. And my page won't turn. There we go. This one says Duncan, Duncan's room, Duncan's house. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Oh, by the pool, Neon Red with the suitcase. This one says, Duncan, Duncan's room, inside, that house there. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which one of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot, that's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make it green, the sun, for all we care. Just bring us home. Your not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. Oh, they're all melted together into one color. And there's a green sun. That's crazy. This one goes to Duncan, his bedroom upstairs. Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know, I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan. And it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend, tan, or possibly burnt sienna, crayon. Oh, tan crayon had a hard time, didn't he? He looks rough. This one goes to Duncan in Duncan's bedroom upstairs in this house. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Oh, there he is waiting to go on his adventure, but he can't get out the door. Ooh. This one goes to Duncan, Duncan's bedroom upstairs, this house. Hey Duncan, 
Remember last Halloween when we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark crayon. Ooh, they drew a bunch of ghosts to scare his brother. And now glow in the dark crayon is scared. Duncan, Duncan's room, Duncan's house. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Well, neon red crayon is not very good at knowing where things are. That is not in America. Let's see, this one goes to Duncan. Duncan's room, upstairs. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, gold crayon. Here's pencil. He said I had to write it for him. Oh, there's gold crayon. He's stuck in the sharpener. This is not fun for me either, you know. Oh, because he used gold crayon to color every single coin. And now there's nothing left of gold crayon. This goes to Duncan. Duncan's bedroom, upstairs, this house. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's raining. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. He got the door open and he saw all the rain and he decided, never mind. This postcard goes to Duncan, Duncan's room upstairs. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy. Turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Oh no, he got melted and stuck to the sock. There's sock, he says. Tell him I said hi. My page won't turn again. Oh, this postcard goes to Duncan. Duncan's room, upstairs, this house. Dear Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top off my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color the garbage with me. The worst is he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys, monkeys, donkey monkeys. Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me. Your desperate friend, Big Chunky Toddler Crayon. Oh no. It says my first crayon and he's been eaten and he's not having a good time, is he? Oh, Duncan, Duncan's room, Duncan's house. I see neon red again. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. Huh, does that look like a rainforest to you? It looks like he's in the snow to me. I think he is so, she is so confused. Oh, this one goes to Duncan, Duncan's room, Duncan's house next door. Hello, Duncan, it's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs, candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you used me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but it didn't really need that final brown scribble. I'll come back, but let's stick to candy bars, okay? 
your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Let's see, there's the picture Brown Crayon was in. It's called Bear Goes in the Woods. There's the trees, the bear. I think that's what Brown Crayon is embarrassed about. Oh, all the postcards all piled up there. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. Oh, brown crayons way up there safe, he says. There's no dogs down there, are they? Nope, no turkeys either. And there's brown crayon. He's saying, oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate because he colored brown candy bars. <gasps> oh, you can barely see white crayon. She says, let's have a party. There's the little blue toddler crayon and pink. Oh, and there's the purple baby's crayon. Look at all these cool places. Oh, there's a door for yellow and orange to go in together. There's the pencil, all kinds of fun places for them to stay. And here's neon red crayon and pea green, Esteban the Magnificent says, and then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. Talking about the adventures. The end. Bye. Y'all have a good day.